where they say he said he knows what I'm doing. But I've evolved from my foundation of what my trainer gave me. But you know, that was like many years ago. I've evolved and you know, that's what it is. And, I, and they'll see my, my, the level of elevation constantly. You send Arrow, you send Jamel over time, you see with Rob over time. So you know, that's what it's about, man. I want to speak about that evolution because uh, I seen a video, I don't know if, you probably don't have time, you're, you're busy. But someone trying to discredit you because of your am, uh, professional career. So how is it that there are so many boxers turned trainers that end up being better trainers than they were fighters? And what can you say in defense of guys like yourself that end up training world champions to titles and shouldn't be discredited because what you did or didn't do well, well, as a fighter? I saw what you, I saw what you oh, told Oh, you did about. see the video. Well, I didn't see the whole thing because it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't more than time somebody said it to me. And it's like this. I, what I did with that one night, I was like... And ha before, let's just, a disclaimer is, the guy only made the video because of the things you said about Kelbro. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. So, I, what I did with that initially, I said, man, that's kind of odd. You know what I mean? But the guy, he felt like he was strongly about it. My record was 21 wins, 7 losses, 1 loss. I mean, 1 draw, 1 no contest. That's the business, that's the game. But then what I said, let me look at other trainers. So I looked up Floyd Mayweather. 28 wins, six losses, one draw. Basically the same record. I looked at Ronnie Seal, 26 wins, six losses, one draw, right? Freddie Rose. I looked at Freddie Rose, 40 wins, 13 losses, right? But then I went to, I just went to Brian McIntyre, which is the jewel of them all. Seven the jewel? Wins. You think Brian's the no, jewel? Let me tell you what, this guy's winning. This guy's successful, right? So seven wins, 14 losses. So he's a jewel because listen, it's not so much about your record is what you learn at. So the guy says to me, he said that his career was a bust. He said, in my career. As a pro, he said he wanna know what I'm training. I'm training Jamel Charlo, you know, world champion, I'm training Earl Spence, mandatory, I'm training Rob Brent, mandatory. So if you wanna know who I am or what I'm about, this is what I'm about, I'm about helping developing fighters. So my career was what it was, right? But everything about my career is I learned. Step, step, step. And that's what happened. I led me in this. But at the same time, I'm still in my career. I'm well, still I mean, winning. You... But at the same time, my record is 48 wins, 4 losses. Listen. Oh, it's 48 and 4. 48 wins, 4 losses. No, 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 no. As a trainer. Oh, okay. Two of the guys I just helped one of my friends out. But I still take that losses too. So 48 and 4. In 5 years, no trainer in the world has a record like that. So you just started five years ago? Yeah. Well, yeah well, and how many years pro is well, Earl? Five years. So I, I, saw, well, I, I trained fighters before, but as a pro, 48, you know what I mean? 48 and four. So that's what it is, you know what I mean? Now, how do you do your fighter selection? Do you just let them come to you? How was it with Earl? How was it with Jamel? How was it with Rob? Are you going to go to Golden Gloves in your area and single out talent? Are you interested in building your stable? Or is it just... Well, I'm, right now it's like this. I'm focused on my three guys right now. If, if, if some other guy comes in with a top ready guy or something like that, I'm cool with that. But at the same time, I don't go seek out fighters. My goal is to focus on the three guys that, that hired me to do a job. I'm not here to make a billion dollars in this. So I'm not going to... You know, what it's like serving something right when you water it down it's no good no different the knowledge the time you have in the day i'm a father i have a family i have a job i work seven days a week so what happens is i never take off and that's just what wait a mean. minute you have a job outside of training yeah, I, yeah, I work seven days a week. you're not a full-time trainer because you choose to yeah, I choose to oh so you're just a guy that you have to be busy well, it's like you, you focus, you, you get it, man. You get it. You can't leave nothing on the table. But why not just train another fighter during that eight hours? Well, I don't. But I, that, that's that. Not having another job makes me regular. Right? I don't want to be in this la la Hollywood boxing, blah blah blah. I want to be a regular guy. So, but you're not no more. Well, Once am. Earl wins that title, <laughs> you're gonna be famous. But well, listen, but it doesn't. See, matter because it's that. different with Jamel, right? Jamel, we all know that Shields well, brought him up. So you, you, you got him, and yeah, but they're going to give credit to Shields. But Earl, okay. Okay. Earl is your guy. If he beats Kell Brook. I don't live on ifs. 
when he beats Kell Brook, you're gonna be famous, man. Oh, you gotta go, Derek. You gotta go. Thanks as always. I'll be there. I'm coming.